can you tell me the measurement of mm -hmm. the flour versus um, the sugar? I'm doing two and a half recipes at a time. So there's going to be, um, this is two and three quarter cups of flour. And we're going to work in the butter. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put in a cup and a half of butter. Sounds like a lot, but it's really just normal. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, you just want to put in... Oh, I watched too much. It's already one minute. The other shop has like freaking um, beef fat. Mm. Flour needs to rise, but it also needs to have a texture when you bake it, right? Mm -hmm. And it will get crispy, right? To some extent. Mm -hmm. It'll be harder than just a bread or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so you mix it in. It's so easy to make a, a crust. All you have to do is get the flour incorporated, and you know it's incorporated when it looks about pea size, that's a little bit bigger chunks, right? Mm -hmm. You still see that, it's still butter. So I'm squeezing it in, putting my love into the mix, right? So it's good energy. Mm -hmm. Make it all nice. And there's a ratio, it's generally two to one kind of thing. Um, which one is two? Two, fla which one two is flour, one, one fat. Mm -hmm. And that's a good buttery one. Like you, there's recipes with much less, just because they don't want the mm -hmm. the, uh, the, fat. the fat in it and all that stuff. Baking, those fat get melted, mm -hmm. right? And they make these little pockets of fat, and then it seeps into the into the flour mm -hmm. and it starts to bake. So that's where you get crispy crust, right? You can even get yeah. bubbles and stuff like that in it because it's because mm -hmm. because it, that's a little balls of of fatter there. Like you don't want this totally fine. You yeah. want it bally. I see. As I said, like pea size. Mm. Right? And you'll know it just kind of feels that way. You don't feel any big chunks anymore. And it's so nice. We only put a half cup or quarter cup of coconut flour, but or coconut oil. But it smells so smell nice. It smells so already. nice already. Yeah. So that's pretty good. Like that's it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you put in a little bit of water to bind it together. Okay. That's it. And that's it. There's a little salt in there too, which you didn't know. You added salt? Yeah. Oh, okay. A, a pinch? Salt, but this, a um, pinch too? Because it was salted butter, I didn't put that much in, but I put it, in here I put about a half a teaspoon. Not a lot. Maybe a, you could probably put it get away with a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. um, but because we're doing a savory and a sweet crust, I don't want to be doing too much salt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Butter in there is generally pretty good enough, but mm -hmm. some people like a little more. Okay. For half hour to an hour, so that the butter solid gets hard again, and then you can roll it out easier. Mm -hmm. And you gotta work kind of quick because it can melt even just doing that. Mm -hmm. That's why you have rolling things that are made of marble because they're yeah, cold. Yeah, they're cold. I see. Right. It keeps yeah. the fat in there from melting. I see. I see. Okay. Yeah. So. The I just don't. Yeah, no, it's, but it's not I, hard. I, I, I know, I'm not. I just can't work with um, flour and baking yes, and all can. that. Yes, you can. It's so easy. You can't. It's just it's, you think it's hard. Plus, I don't have. I don't have the patience to do a segmental it's, cooking. It's, it's like not hard. You have to put in the fridge and wait. And, you know. I get that. Okay, yeah. that's cool. That but, I don't like. When I start, I want it to start boom, boom, boom. 
So you're putting ice? So it's just to keep the water cold. So I'm gonna get some water. When we're okay. out of water, we're gonna fill this up. So, um, I don't put all of it in because depending on the type of flour you use, uh, the flour might not absorb as much. Depending mm -hmm. on the flour, it does. So, you just want it to come together. So, I've used three different flowers in here, so I really don't know how it's going to be. Okay. So, you know, there's a sprouted millet, all-purpose flour, and then we had a little bit of spelt flour. Mm. It's the bottom of the of the. So it's not flat, flat. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like a, another game. Uh... Okay. And there's some dice in it. Oh what yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I should. Can't so I, never, I I didn't use I only used two thirds of the recipe with water. It's already coming together. Even that almost is too much. I just put it in. I'll work it in to what I can get. Nala, you want to watch, baby? Huh? You want to watch, baby? My bed? You want to watch? So it's a little wet. I want it to be firm. I want it to be dry, just like the sides are right here. So the sides here are, are dry. I want everything to be dry because because there's going to be a wet um, sauce and meat going in here. So it's going to be yeah. We don't want that soggy. Just take it on my hand and do that because um, it's actually a pretty good pie crust. And that, that just gives me a nice firm crust. Now I, I want to eat all this. So it's generally what I'm just going to poke this in and we can do a kind of thing like this. Make it look fancy if you want, but it kind of tucks in. I'm just going to double it. Yeah, nice tasting crust at the end of it. I'm trying not to burn my fingers. <laughs> 